what's up you guys it's your girl magali and look at this cute box i made for today's video guys i don't know if it's just me or is this not like the cutest freaking box ever i love this box even more than the regular wine box you know like the big one oh my gosh this mini one is just ugh. i'm obsessed i love this freaking box and everything I'm using for today's video is going to be linked down in the description. And that's including my chocolate, the food coloring, the box, all of that good stuff, you guys. So make sure to check out the description down below to know where I got everything, okay? So you guys, I recently changed to Chocolate Chameleon for a lot of my colors. And oh my goodness, you guys, I freaking love this red. It is so freaking vibrant and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I really hope you guys try it. And you can't even taste it. You guys know how on Chef Master, you guys can kind of taste it. And a lot of people are not a fan of that, including me. So if you guys want a really good red, check this one out or the color mill one. And bam, you guys, look at that red. It is popping. Like, I am in love. That is a Magali Sweets red, y'all. I love that red. So of course we're gonna be using a little sandwich baggie to do this next step and of, we're gonna get into the drizzling portion of this video so you guys i always use a sandwich baggie and you guys can use a piping bag if you want i've seen a lot of people use piping bags but i personally prefer sandwich baggies and y'all already know i gotta massage my chocolate before your girl starts drizzling <laughs> i don't know why i do this this is one of my favorite designs I've ever done. And it's funny because I actually did this design as a beginner because it's actually really, really easy, you guys. And I thought I was like on a whole other level after I did my first berry. <laughs> like I thought I was a professional. You could not tell me nothing back then. So when you're doing this design, you wanna make sure that both your base and the chocolate that's inside of your bag are still in that liquidy stage. Because if they're not, it is not gonna work out, you guys. It's not gonna come out cute, okay? I really be sleeping on this design because it is just so cute and it's honestly really easy to do. I mean, like I was doing this when I was a little beginner and actually I started doing this design my first Valentine's Day sale and it was only because my sister was like, let me try this. And then, you know, I had to copy her real quick. Another question that I'm always getting about my chocolate is if I put anything in my chocolate, like coconut oil or vegetable, what is it called? Vegetable shortening or something like that. Um, I've actually never used that. But if you guys do sell these, make sure you guys are not using something like coconut oil because a lot of people are allergic to coconut oil and you just never know who people are gifting these to. So it's better to be safe than sorry. I've never used vegetable shortening, but I've heard really good things about it. But to answer my question, I do not use anything in my chocolate. I just melt it and use it like that, you guys. Um, yeah, I hope that helps you guys. I'm not really sure what kind of chocolate you guys are purchasing that you guys have to add extra things to. But if you guys stick to like almond bark, um, Ghirardelli, Merkins, you usually don't have to add anything to those type of brands. And also before I forget to mention this, please don't like stab at the freaking berry while doing this. Do this very lightly with a toothpick or else it's gonna have like little, like that. Y'all see that? That is not cute, but it is what it is. It happens, y'all. For our next three berries, we're gonna end up doing that little sideways loop design you know what i mean like i love this design but then i hate it at the same time i don't know what it is like i'd be having mixed emotions about this one because i prefer to do the other one that's like vertical but it's still super cute and it's easy for valentine's day if you guys are selling this little design is so cute and easy to do so practice it and once you got it down it's a piece of cake y'all you guys got it Another reason why I love making this arrangement is because it's the same box that I use for my actual dozens. So that's a win-win for me. I don't have to order any other special boxes for to make this actual arrangement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. 
By the way, this box is 10 by seven by two and a half, and I will have a link down in my description. If you guys already follow me on my Amazon store front, then y'all already know I've been linked those for you, okay? And look how pretty these roses are that I found at Trader Joe's, y'all. Don't sleep on Trader Joe's, y'all, because they really be out here with everything on the low, too. I believe, don't quote me on this, though, because I can't remember exactly, but I do think that their dozen roses are, like, $8. Don't quote me on that again. Like I said, I can't remember all the way, but, yeah, they're cheaper. I really wish that I would have had white shredder paper for this box, but the way this white shredder paper, they're over here increasing the prices on that boy. So I was like, brown shredder paper it is, okay? I'm not mad at it. I ended up finding this Stella Rosa at Rayleigh's and it is so cute. Like look at the size of it. Like it's literally a personal bottle. That's so freaking cute. I also seen other flavors at Walmart. It comes in like a packet of five, I believe. I ended up not buying that one and I regret it now, but you know what? It's okay, we gonna stick with the classic. If you guys end up recreating this box or even like, you know, switching it up, please tag and send it to me. I wanna see it. Do not hog your guys' recreations. I wanna freaking see them, okay? So, please and thank you. <laughs> so, you guys, that's my cute little mini wine box that I'm completely and 110% obsessed with. I really hope that one day somebody surprises me with my own, but then I'm gonna be offended if somebody buys other strawberries off somebody else and it wasn't me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do have other berry friends out there that I would love to be gifted their berries. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your favorite berry girl. I already have my video ready for Monday too, so don't come over here playing with me, y'all. And it's gonna be a little twist to all the little videos. A little different, a little tiny, tiny different from the other videos that I've been posting. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. 